What's up, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Common Sense Reactions. You are now back with your boy Sense. I represent that family money, everything movement. That means put your family first, get your bag right, and everything else will balance out after that. You dig? So, we back with another no jumper update and this is another one of adam probably beating his chest talking about how he would have fought how he wants to fight and, and like but you didn't have all of that energy for bro like all that standing up and moving towards him but you know your security is there bro you know nobody's gonna let you get touched because you're paying people a moderate amount of money not to to have you touch it's not even good money it's like from what I'm hearing, bro, like are do, are these security guards really being paid well enough to secure your life out here in the streets of L.A.? Like, that's crazy, bro. I, look, we just going to get into this content, man, because I, I don't got the patience to <laughs> I don't got the patience. Y'all can tell him out of patience and his feet whooped. Feet whooped, whooping ten by Ruga on the No Jumper podcast. We finna jump into this content without no further do's or don'ts. Let's get into this content. Yeah, Let's go. Uh, I mean, I know you guys already seen this, yeah, but this we might is, as well. This is crazy. Chicago yeah, on team right now, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hot in, in the rack right now. You guys want to watch this? Let's. You really got to see the whole thing to understand, but. Uh, oh, Here what do you think I'm gonna do? He go, he go try to. And keep in mind that uh, Ruga was very adamant at calling uh, Adam a meta mouth, a metal foul, a treadle trial. He who messes with little kids. You feel me? So let's <laughs> never forget that. Hit him in his mouth. Say I hit him in his mouth. What he gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? He gonna, he gonna try to sue. He gonna be one of them soft ass, soft ass How people. am I gonna sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Cause you just because like, you have more money than someone doesn't mean you can't sue them. You would just have more and more money than them. You feel me? You would take what they have. You know, that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, I have more money than you. Why would I sue? Because, nigga, I could get more money? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Suing is hard. Don't worry about it. Really how it works. Cause you south. So you telling me if I hit you, you in your south. mouth, you ain't gonna sue south. S a w f t soft, nigga. Soft. South. Why is it hard? Don't worry about it. I don't need to see you. I'm trying. You to ain't asking my question. You weird. I'm gonna ask you to leave. That's cool. I'll leave. But I'm telling you, you a bitch. I don't care. <laughs> on G O D, bro. On G O D. We talked about this yesterday, chat. On G O D, that nigga a bitch, bro. He gotta get his shit together and start acting like he really out here like that, bro. That he gonna get hurt for sure. Hey, look, and I know people been saying this for months, and he doubts it because it hasn't happened yet. But it's like, bro, it only takes one time. For you to be off of this planet, like keep on, you keep on playing with people. Eventually, you go get hurt. You handsome guy. Yeah. Come on, sure. I'm gonna get up out of here. You're gonna have to go. Handsome guy. You're gonna have to go. I bet you, y'all, he he delete this out. I bet you're you gonna he delete this out. Then. Why so obsessed with being handsome? Handsome. handsome? Handsome guy. Capable of acting like a handsome, handsome guy. guy. Like so you can't act like a handsome guy. So every time he call him, he say handsome guy is really Ruga calling him a chomo. Just throwing that out there. Bro is so corny. <laughs> like, bro. I don't know if you guys feel like this. Like, I don't know if you feel like this. Maybe it's just me. Like, maybe I'm an evil person, bro. Like, I really try and be good-hearted, bro. Like, I, I try and understand that everybody's human. We all got our faults and we all got our downsides. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not a perfect person. I got some ugly sh about me, too. You feel me? I've never wanted to see somebody get hurt more in my life, bro. And I'm working on it. I'm praying. I'm praying every night. I'm praying. I'm praying that God will take this, 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 this ugliness out of my soul, bro, because... I have never in my life wanted to see. I don't want to see him dead. No, not that extreme. But, like, I just want to see somebody punch him full force as hard as they can. Like, you know, one of them one of them joints where he don't even see it coming is just somebody from the side and just, mm, and, like, the whole face just mashes to the side and you hear that little sigh, like, eh. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could tell he's really hurt. Like, I oh, I just really need to see that on camera, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I might be a evil. Y'all drop it in the chat if I'm an evil person, bro. I'm sorry. I, I apologize ahead of time. Handsome guy. Hey, yo, get the fuck out of the way. I don't know. 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 I 
maybe that's some Chicago <laughs> shit, man. Maybe, maybe in Chicago, handsome guy means like you're the big up or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's maybe that's I'm some assuming, Chicago right? slang. It's a new slang. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, he really wasn't saying awful guy. He was saying P-E-D-O. Just throwing that out there. Pedal mile. Federal file. Treadle trial. You know, you two be funny with the words. And when I was seen it, I thought this shit was a fucking act, cuz. I mean, act. Does. Look, cuz. Uh, he, he, he yelling in the tape. Shout out to Faux Extras. Faux Extras president. But he like, you know what? He like, you a handsome guy. I'm like, oh, nigga, this shit's act. I'm like, this nigga acting. Yo, I'm gonna break your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah look. Faux Extras, he wasn't really saying handsome guy, bro. This nigga Faux Extras is crazy. <laughs> This nigga. There are things I want to say, but I won't because I like LA and I like going there to pick up food and do business sometimes. <laughs> and I really like going to the 60s because they have a dope ass Jamaican restaurant out there. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. 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 Nigga for extras is crazy. He, he was saying something yeah, else, saying and something we, else. we used AI to change his yeah, voice to say no something else. Because we were going to have to edit it out anyway just for, like, monetization purposes. So I was like, you know what? I might as well do him a favor, and instead of making it just sound all weird with a bunch of empty blank space in it, I'm going to change it into something else that I know that he agrees with, which would be <laughs> me being handsome. <laughs> I know Ruga, I know he likes a handsome guy. And I know I'm a handsome guy. So I felt like that was a perfect combination. But anyway, um, a lot of people have been on my ass about it. For those of y'all wondering, like, why is he making it? Something just came across my mind right now. Something just came across my mind right now. And I'm just trying to make sure everything just... You know what nobody talks about when it comes to building a content creator business? I, I that if you're not using what a anybody doesn't talk about. And I personally don't care. You're bad as hell, though. You kind of pretty, shorty. Like, I don't know why they ain't drop your Instagram at, because that's, like, upsetting me. I was like, I'll, I'll shoot my shot. You feel me? You you miss 100% of the ones you don't take, bro. You just got to shoot. You know what I mean? Just shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the... Where's it's the... inappropriate for the camera. Yeah. Just keep that there. You really kicked the GDs what? out of the door, man. What? One of them. All the other ones stayed. Oh, the, G so, the other GD stayed. So, okay, that, that's a question. Ruga, say that, or excuse me, before I ask you, say that you're Ruga in this situation and you're there with your two artists. Yeah. Are they allowed to stay after you get kicked out? No, yes. Off the bat, they go. They 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 the well, here's the thing. Stay? On some, on some, on some nigga shit, no, you got to roll with the homie. But on some professional shit, no, I stay and do the rest of the interview. If I'm there as a manager and I'm representing my artists, then I would expect them to stay through the rest of the interview. You feel me? That's what I would expect. I would, you know, whatever. But, you know, everybody do that. Yeah, I mean, on on that one, it just kind of depends on the relationship you have with the artist, right? So now if these are your artists, but they're also dudes that you grew up with in your neighborhood, uh, yeah, bro, when we get back to the crib, I'm looking at you a whole different way. Like, you know, the fact that you didn't get up and get up out of there with me. No, 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 no. Me personally, because I'm like business over everything, I'd have been like, nah, y'all good. Y'all stay, finish your interview. I mean, you use a, you feel me? I would have let bro know one more time before I left, and that's it. Like, I would have let them have their interview because it's still, you know, it's still good promo, and that's going to bring money back to the team. You feel me? So it's, it's whatever. But, like, on some gang shit. Uh, and I don't, and I don't know because, like, once again, very sidewalk oriented. You know what I'm saying? But I would just say, like, if y'all in the same gang though, and it's like deeper than music type thing, and like, yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird to stay. <laughs> Man, I would have put hands on feet on somebody. Like, I would expect y'all to flip a table. You know what I mean? It's hurt something in that bit. You feel me? They yeah. they're different. I wanted to finish the interview. We, did like, we did like another 45 minutes, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's showing you right there. They, they think it's an act, too. Mm. Nigga, if, if, look, if my niggas come with me, just imagine. nigga got to get up and leave. A nigga got to get up and leave. If, my, up if you leave. came, nigga, that's like me coming with you some weird nigga. Right. And you get up like, nigga, you actually, nigga, I'm out of here. Nigga, I'm leaving. Why would I stay? Unless it's an act. 
Right. I mean, I really appreciated them staying because it allowed us to continue the fucking interview. But still, though. Hey, but look, you appreciate them staying. But wait, if they came with you and hell yeah, Remo, yeah, Remo, Rick, baby, with... let's go. If, we're, if, we if I'm it. leaving, if I'm getting kicked out, right. for sure, y'all need to come with me. Hey, like, let's go. I'm what, sorry, that's just where I'm at. What did Ruger do? Wait in the parking lot. I think he waited in the car. I think he, <laughs> he's, uh, he got, hey, got Ruger waiting. He, in the car. Got, he got a cookie down the street. He went to the 7-Eleven. He got to go to his car, sit in the car with the AC, and wait on these niggas to get done. Right. The car battery probably dead by the time they get out there. <laughs> I need a jump stop, man. Yeah, you need a jump stop for me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, nigga, this shit got to be a motherfucking act. I was a little uh, surprised that they stuck around, to be totally honest, even though I appreciated it. But... Man, I don't know. Like, people have been on my ass about it all weekend, but my whole thing about it is that I wish that Ruga what had kept the same energy about? that they kept, which was like, okay, we're just ha we're just having a conversation. Like, why did the conversation have to get so heated and turn into, like, oh, we need to go fight? Like, why did it turn into that? Like, it's a it turned into that because Adam made fun of uh, Ruga's homie who got popped in the head. And I would like to say, four extras was in the same situation, he probably would have fired on Adam for making fun of his homie who got shot in the head. So that's the part Adam's not talking about. Adam was disrespecting Ruga's homie who got shot in the head and Ruga got cracking. Right. 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 That's what I'm saying. Like, all these dudes just sitting around, like, playing cool with this dude and they know, like, bro, if if you was in Ruga's situation, y'all would not be cool, bro. Y'all would not be cool. And he know better than to play with people around him like that. But he's playing with people like that from out of town and stuff like that. Because he knows they don't, they don't got that kind of pull out there and stuff like that. Especially the GDs. The GDs is like, you know what I mean? Most hated because they got the least amount of power in the music industry. And that's like kind of where things rotate to as far as like who people want to get cool with based on clout. You feel me? Like whoever has the most things going on. So, like, they don't got, it's, it's, bro, I highly doubt this. It's somebody they could call it, you know what I mean, make a play or whatever, like, you feel me? So, he's playing, he's playing smart, but he's playing stupid, you feel me? That's what happened, you feel me? The same way if you disrespect one of the extras homies who got shot in the head, four extras to get cracking, so, you know. That's I'm saying, what is the what beginning? The beginning Why did like, it turn into an argument? All right, let me, let me explain. It's basically, like, at one point, I got into an argument with his homie, right? Like, and I said some rude shit. I basically quoted a King Von song dissing his friend or whatever. So, oh, and, and the, for that, man. the King Von lyric was making light of the fact that his homie got shot in the head. Okay, not polite for me to quote that. You know, you, say, yeah, you, you left that part out. Adam. Yeah, you left that part out. You left that part out. Notice how everybody in the room is like, whoa, yeah, you left that part out. Hold on, big dog. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, like the whole energy changed, bro. And now I'm really interested to see what Four Extra says from this point because that's going to tell me what type of duty is. Like, is he 100? Is he like, does he really stand on it? Or is he willing to be flexible based on what's going to benefit him? And it's interesting to see him bringing Four Extra around him a lot more um, with these, these, these tremblings going on with Brick Baby. Something tells me Brick Baby's going to get the, the boot. And 4X is going to be the new bodyguard. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he always keeps somebody there who has a certain level of clout and a certain level of, you know, fear or respect in the streets. And like, and then he just, you know, discards of the old. You know what I mean? AD was like a cool little street nigga, but he's like uh, super tough. Like, you know what I'm saying? And Brick Baby was the evolution. Like, it's the guy who does well known for a couple shootings and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Now, four extra just got out of jail. Like, Brick Baby might be on his way out. You feel me? I'm just chill out a little bit. Six, you scared the. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop doing that. I'm, I need to put a bell on your neck or something. You like a fucking cat. It's the dog, y'all. It's the dog. Ugh! It's my dog, man. It's my dog. It's my dog. Yo, bro, Rich, get you a pit bull, dog. What the f is that, fam? I remember you always be talking about the chupacabra. I didn't know. I did not know he actually looks like a chupacabra, fam. You got to go get yourself a real dog, dude. This this thing looked like a weasel. That's like a, that is a, that. what is that? That's a 125-pound weasel, my guy. You Cuba ugly. Like I you you need a real dog, jeez. <laughs> ah, but I bet I bet they cost a grip though. I bet they cost a grip. If that monk is clipped or whatever, like you you wasted your bread, bro. Cause at least breed it, get some money off it.
You know what I'm saying? Come on, dog. Get out of me. Like a cat. That dog tired of you, Jesus. <laughs> that dog is tired of you. Get out of your blanket. Go. Sicko. Scare me, bruh. I just see something just wet and cold on my head. What the hell is going on here? Fucking goodness gracious. I don't know what I thought. Somebody just threw a wet cotton ball at me? I don't like it, bro. Just ugh. That's good, that yeah. Because this is like a 20-minute argument, honestly, before like uh things really get Get heated. See, you left that part you, out. You kind of room for the Adam. Yeah, 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 yeah. You kind of room for this now. No, 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 totally. I agree. Set. Come on. Okay, but th there's two different things. He should have warned you, though. But that is one thing is like that you can acknowledge that I was wrong for saying that, right? Hell but yeah. then, in addition to that, like he's sitting there and he's basically like getting on my ass for saying that, but ignoring the fact that this dude said all this crazy shit to me. And when I said that to him, I was just responding. You know, I was just like, Responding to him dissing me and in my what what Adam is realizing is you either have to be and it's not that he's not realizing it. He's playing stupid. Once again, he's playing stupid to play smart. Right. Um, I'm a white guy. I don't know how the culture operates, even though I've been operating in the culture for like 10 plus years. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um <sighs> What he's doing is is goofy, but I'll explain it to you just in case you're not catching it. Um, he is blurring the lines between a media specialist and a rapper. All right. Now, if you were a rapper, Adam, uh, everybody would expect you to respond. Uh, and also, depending on what type of rapper you are, like if you were, you know, Kevin Gates. Yes, everybody would expect you to respond. If you were a little pump, everybody might expect you to just ignore it and keep it pushing, right? Because you're not built for the type of drama that Kevin Gates is. You feel me? Uh, once again, you're doing this conflation. Um, you are a media specialist. Your job is to interview people, ask questions, and not get involved in street sh When you start throwing out disses to guys from you know, very violent neighborhoods, you put yourself at risk. Um, and then I have to say to the street guys, you are allowing a dangerous precedent to be set by allowing this type of stuff to sit around it, condone it, f befriend it. You are then creating a space now where other media specialists could go, oh, that's on the table now. We could, we could disrespect even, and they'll still come and sit down. All right, bet. Man, all you guys are gonna be like, bro. You guys, can I say something from the from a sidewalk, from from the sidewalk? You're losing respect out here. We used to fear you. We used to fear you. But now we're realizing you guys are just scared. You're just as scared as us. If law is involved, <laughs> if the law is involved, <laughs> if there's any potential for, you know, you, you only want to go at people who operate under street codes because you expect that you'll be able to shoot the sh out of them and they'll, if they so happen to survive, they won't tell anything. That's the only people who you really want to get involved with. But you you guys are scared, bro. And you don't have any crash outs anymore. You don't have anybody who's willing to do it broad day on camera. You don't you don't have any. This guy should not be able to walk around L.A. fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He shouldn't be even be able to be located inside of the city. He should have to travel or take a helicopter three hours to work every day. There should be no way that he's in the vicinity of California at all. He should be in Arizona flying out on a chopper every day to, to, to get to LA with like, I'm talking about like presidential level security. You feel me? What is going on? My perspective is like, how are you gonna sit here and tell me that I am so at fault for dissing him when he showed up in my DM dissing me first? And the only thing he can say is like, oh, you said this other thing in this podcast. It was nothing in comparison to what he was saying about me. So my whole thing is don't come here and do a podcast with me and tell me that, that I'm in the wrong 100% and I need to sit here and be scolded by you and listen to you when your homie came at me first. You know? Oh, so you basically... 
Yeah, but you're not telling them he what he said. Just because already. His, his homie just can't because it probably so wasn't anything there, close to him. Like, no, nigga, don't get extra out now, nigga. You said this I, I was being respectful, but then he, want, he wanted to do this whole little podcast thing where he would just basically talk shit to me. I was going to have to sit there, get oh, reprimanded. Oh. I was going to have to just listen to him tell me how I'm so fucked up and I'm so wrong. And my whole thing is like... Nah, bro, like, I don't give a fuck about all that shit you're talking. And if you're going to justify it by saying, like, oh, I could beat you up, it's like, well, you're right here in front of me right now. So, like, wh- like what are you going to do? Because I, I don't think you're doing anything, period. Because, yeah, I got security, but I'm going to be real with you. The security is there to protect you, not to protect me. Because I'm not doing the fist fight thing. Uh, off the bat, I'm going to send you to go do it. Oh, a- Adam said he uppy up the blicky icky. Oh, bro said, I don't do no fist fight, and I whooped off the whoopty man. See, here's going to think about up in the whoopty man. Like, a lot of niggas talk about they sliding with Yankee Doodle, but here's going to think about sliding with Yankee Doodle. This is what I know. This is what I know. This is what I know. I done seen a nigga get poked up with Yankee Doodle in his hand, trying to fumble and go for the whoopty man. And nigga, mm, 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 mm. And he hit your stupid ass, because that whoop come out faster than Yankee Doodle. You got to whip you. You got to whip Yankee Doodle out. And bro got the whoop on him already. It's over with it's over with. You still got to get to Yankee Doodle if you're trying to go ride around on a donkey, put a feather in your head and call it macaroni. That's all I'm saying. Unless you blow through the jacket. Because, like, why are you trying to pull it out anyhow? Who cares? <laughs> the jacket's not going to stop it. Like, what is you doing, dog? If it's, if it's that time and it's that close, like, blow through the jacket, fam. What is wrong with you? That's all I'm saying. So we all got one. We all got one. We all Yankee doodled up around this motherfucker. Like, we all Yankee doodled up around this motherfucker. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. So I don't do no fight. I da 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 If that's your mentality, you shouldn't even say that. Because now that I know that, if I know you ain't trying to do no whoopty bam and all that, whoop, you trying to put some, so you trying to put Yankee doodle over whoopties, you feel me? I'm immediately, immediately going for the crash out. Immediately. And if you got somebody with enough skill and enough experience, having, man, niggas get whooped with Yankee doodle on them every day, B. Niggas get poked up with Yankee Doodle on them every day, B. Niggas get yammed down every day with Yankee Doodle on them every day, every day B. Just because you got Yankee Doodle on you don't mean it's going to work, work, work out in your favor. I just mean you got Yankee Doodle on you, bro. That's all that mean. So this whole concept of, oh, let's just protect you because, you know, I might da 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 Yeah, okay. I've been stabbed in the face twice. I've been stabbed in the spine. You feel me? I done been stabbed up in jail and on the streets and all that kind of stuff. I done been popped at and popped on and all that kind of stuff. Come on, bro. It's, 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 it, when it's hot, it's hot. When it's hot, it's hot. It sound good. It sound good. But, you know, keep Yankee Doodle on you at all times. You feel me? For show with Tupac. So, Ruger, don't play with me. I'm not doing the celebrity boxing match in the parking lot. It's not happening. You off the back of it? I let him off easy. I let him walk his ass out of there. You off the back with it. I'm off the back with it. Back with it. <laughs> hey, I don't, con- I don't condone this talk, man. Huh? I mean, really, obviously, I don't want to. Here at TNN Trap News Network, we don't condone. Pull us, pop out, stop us, stop walking. Us- Yo, remember what I said to you guys, um, you know, street ninjas. Zero respect. I still respect y'all because I like, you know what I mean? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I'm losing a little bit of respect for y'all too. I really had a lot of fear, fear in my heart as a, as a sidewalk ninja. I just didn't want no smoke with y'all, but I'm really seeing y'all are just, y'all don't want no smoke either, bro. Y'all better go handle that shit. I'm Stop. out. <laughs> Bar's hard. Face. Boom. Another studio session with uh, Anonymous to be determined. <laughs> so this is the process where we keep this shit on the loop. First eight bars. So we get our process down now. We know exactly what to do, man. Like, you want me to do like, oh, like more like a. Yeah, I'm... yeah, yeah, give me some emotion at the end of that. It's like we came in this bitch with a template. <laughs> this shit was made on accident. I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. Got me on my knees to see right. Why I'm on my knees to feel right. Feel right. 